Hi Switch Up family and welcome back to uh, Switch Up. My name is Mark Walker and today as always we'll be giving away a £50 voucher to one of the people that left a nice comment. Hopefully you'll see it on the screen right now. We have about a day or two left of this month when our 10% discount on all our eShop vouchers finishes. Use code SWITCHUP over at switchup.gg to save a little bit more on these sales. As always I try and pick out the games that don't go on sale very often or are at their lowest ever prices to keep it a bit more interesting and throw in a few hidden gems and a couple of games that you should avoid because they're all full but for some weird reason we keep looking at that sale price and thinking maybe just maybe we have a massive collaboration with probably most of the channels that you watch coming up next week so make sure your little bells are all pressed and there'll be some giveaways tied to that one as well what is on sale and invariably going to tempt us to bolster those very small backlogs well let's find out First up then, and my favourite game probably on the Nintendo Switch, bar Disco Elysium, it's Hollow Knight. We have a review and it was one of our first ever reviews on the channel and it just blew up. This is an incredible Metroidvania, don't be put off by that slightly unusual Metroidvania title because I think these have evolved so much since that was created, but it's beautiful. It's been really nice seeing, I know so many of you have already picked this one up on sale, it's 50% off, taking it down to £5.49 or your regional equivalent. And I've seen a few comments already saying, oh, I just picked up this game called Hol Hollow Knight. Didn't think I'd like it, and it's in, it's just unbelievably good. It has a lovely atmosphere. It's set within the world of Hollow Nest, and you play as this silent protagonist, but it's all about the controls. Everything's so slick and tidy. Everything works so well. It's really responsive, and it's a game that you can complete in 20, 25 hours, but to get everything and to do... I always get this wrong. I say 120%, but I think it's like 108%. You'll have to let me know in the comments. But to do absolutely everything, it's going to take triple, quadruple that amount of time, depending on your skill level. So a brilliant game, well worth. Actually, it's essential. You need to buy it. <laughs> if you don't buy it, then just, just you have to leave, basically, because it's just, it's an essential. Like Disco Elysium, this is one that's a must buy. It has a 5.2 gigabyte download. And as I say, on sale until March the 3rd. Our physical here in the UK has to go to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, the complete edition, which is the lowest it's ever been over on Amazon. It's 52% off, taking it down to £24.11. I'm sure I don't need to go through what The Witcher 3 is, but certainly tossing a coin to the physical won't be the worst thing you ever do. And because CD Projekt Red back in the good old days weren't cheapskates, they stuck the whole thing on the cartridge. So it's worth actually owning. Incredible games, amazing adventures, loads of really interesting side quests. And I can't recommend it highly enough. It's seen a number of patches and you're looking at 150 to 200 hours if you want to do everything. Brilliant games. I'm pleased to see that the US regions have finally got that XCOM 2 um, collection sale that we had here in the EU a few weeks back, and that takes it down to $4.99, which is 90% off until March the 7th. Now, XCOM 2 is a tactical turn-based game where you can build an elite group of troops. There's a research segment where you're gradually upgrading the different types of gear that you have, and it's also essential to name each of your troops after friends and family. <laughs> it really does add something to the experience. Just uh, be warned, it can get emotional. Now the Switch has seen a number of patches, it wasn't perfect when it was first released and it's still not perfect, it still doesn't look beautiful, but it plays just fine and it's not the type of experience that requires quick response speeds. It has a 24 gigabyte download though, which is just a big oof, and you're looking at about 50 to 80 hours of gameplay. Really good to see the No More Heroes games on sale. We've got No More Heroes and No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle, both excellent titles, and they're both half price. They come from Marvelous, the publisher, and you're looking at about 15 to 20 hours to finish each one. They're also small downloads as well, the first being 2.2 gigs and the second 3.4. They follow the adventures of Travis Touchdown, and they're absolutely bonkers. These are what you might class as works of art and come from someone called Suda51. Not for everyone, but for that fast-paced hack and slash gameplay and all the weird and quirky mini games that he throws in, they're completely unique experiences and well worth considering. As I say, on sale till March the 9th. For some reason, I feel this sense of euphoria. <laughs> Fighting your own kind. Nothing's more gratifying. You will pay with your life. Don't die. One that I haven't talked about in a while is Graveyard Keeper. 
absolutely loved it when I reviewed it and having gone back to it recently just to have a little playthrough, it really is addictive. Now for whatever reason I hadn't finished the DLCs and I would started one of them, I think it was called The Breaking Dead. You've got the Stranger Sins DLC, the Game of Crone DLCs and they're all half price at the moment as well so potentially this could be a pick up Graveyard Keeper on its reduced price at half price or pick up one of the DLCs. My purchase is going to be Game of Crone. I think it's about 12 hours of extra gameplay and you're trying to stop a vampire terrorizing your village. Super addictive if a little unusual being a graveyard keeper. A bit morbid and you can like sell the organs and stuff but you know each to their own. The base game has a download size of 891 megs. There's a review if you want to check it out and you're looking at about 60 to 70 hours of gameplay. It's no Tenchu Stealth Assassin, but Aragami Shadow Edition is a really nice, mm, similar game. You play as a ninja who has to hug the shadows. You can actually travel between shadows. That's like your special ability. And yeah, you're not a ninja at all, are you? You're like a spirit, but still, he's a very cool looking shadow assassin. This version includes the DLC, which is an extra story campaign called Nightfall, and it's basically a prequel to these events. There's an online mode here. If you and your mate pick it up, you can play through co-op with two of you. If you're someone that enjoys stealth and taking the time to try and perfect each stage is quite compulsive. It has a download size of 3.6 gigs and maybe about seven to 10 hours to finish. For my money, the best games in the Assassin's Creed series on the Switch is Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. I know we've just had the Ezio Collection. Uh, they haven't held up quite as well as I remember. Like, the ports are fine on Switch, but I was always an Assassin's Creed 4 person. So in the US region, having it at its lowest ever price again, down down 63% to $14.79 for two huge games. That's such a bargain, and that's until March the 10th. What I will say is that their games do go on sale often. So, you know, if you don't, if you don't fancy it or you it's very likely that it's going to go on sale again but this is the cheapest it's ever been so you could certainly do a lot worse you're looking at a download of 19 gigs wowzers and about 50 to 100 hours of a gameplay The kids pick this week then and you instantly a game's better with the word cozy in it. It's Cozy Grove, which has had a few patches since launch to address some of the issues I had in my review. It's just a super chill game with a beautiful art style that uses a lot of the Animal Crossing, I guess, ethos for design. It was nice to see Spry Fox go back and really work on some of the uh, core mechanics of it. It's got a 40 plus hour campaign. It's only a very small 1.1 gigabyte download. Now, I don't know if this one's in, on sale in the EU regions, but it definitely is in the US. It's 30% off, taking it down to $10.49, and that's until March the 3rd. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, then I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy this one, and a good time, as it's the cheapest it's ever been. Then you've got the brilliant LA Noir, which is half price over in the US. And we had a few comments asking, you know, how is this one? How does it play? And it runs just fine on the Switch. It was quite weird actually having this so early on in the Switch's life cycle and then not seeing GTA for, well, donkeys knows how long. And don't worry, I have my video of all the new patches, the 1.0.6 patches, all the frame rates of all of the games, going over load times, etc., etc. And that'll be out tomorrow. That'll be Monday for you guys. But this one, a really nice detective adventure whereby they used a new facial recognition, well, not facial recognition facial capture technology so that you actually have to try and read the you know whether the actors are lying or not when you're interviewing them and it works it works quite well i mean you know they're obviously told to look shifty and their eyes are darting left and left and right you're like yeah you're blatantly lying but it gets a bit more tricky later on it's 27 gigs though my goodness it's going to take up all your space it's about 20 to 40 hours if you want to do absolutely everything
Last one before we look at a game or a two that you should avoid is Ever Forward, our hidden gem of the week. This is 30% off in all regions, and it's one of those otherworldly puzzle adventure titles that has this really nice, um, almost like pastel art style. There are different puzzles, including physics-based ones, and the main protagonist is trying to unlock her memories. Now, these styles of games aren't for everyone. They're a bit slower paced. They require to, you to use your noggin, but I think you'll know. It's kind of from the Abzu school of game, really, in terms of its pacing, and it's also re relatively short. It's only about two or three hours long. So this, I reckon, or, or another game called Hoa would be nice little, um, I don't know, wild card pickups, I guess, if you're accepting that they are much shorter experiences. That one's on sale until March the 4th, and it has a download size of 3.1 gigs. First avoids for me are the Hello Neighbor games. They're currently on sale on Switch and ugh, they're just crap. I'm sorry, they are just naff. The premise is all right of, you know, hide and seek essentially the game, but I would suggest strongly you hide them from your Switch because the core gameplay just isn't fun. It's constantly unfair in the in the mechanic of, of being chased and it just, it's just rubbish. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. You know, it's terrible. Don't buy it. They keep pumping out sequels as if, you know, we'll keep doing Hello Neighbor games until someone someone likes it. No, thank you very much. And don't get me started on bugs. You'll find a ton of bugs in there. No, messy. No thanks. Oh, and Solo Island of the Heart, which has gone on sale every month since it released and tanked in the reviews. It's just, ugh. It's all about emotions and feelings, and that's fine, but it's delivered in such an overt and non-subtle, I guess it's just cheesy. It's incredibly cheesy. I mean, it's opening line of love being a universal thing. It's, uh, it's a really nice, uh, you know, it's a nice idea, but you will not love Solo Islands of the Heart. You're moving from island to pretension island thinking what on earth it should have been great i was really i had high hopes for it and by the end i just thought flipping heck this unfortunately is not a fun game and so i shall never play it again sad times and that's it for this week i hope you've enjoyed the video as i said before we have a video coming up this week with um firstly all the patches for gta and we've also got a video with most of the switch channels uh that we're pals with so <laughs> if you're not in the video well let's find out on a serious note, um, just a big thanks to everyone that watches. I know the world is a ludicrous place at the moment, and I hope this has given you some escapism. Keep your eyes peeled for some nice reviews, and other than that, just a huge thanks to our Patreons. You guys support us each and every month. Oh, a nice shout out to our Discord. If you need a community of like-minded Switch players, go check out a link in the description to our Discord channel. Completely free to join, and there's a, there's a really nice group of people on there that will you know give you their friend code and set up games for you and things like that and chat about reviews and there's this one guy called culture bucket who will tell you about absolutely every waifu that ever existed watch out for that for all things switch all the time keep it switch up cheers guys see you